Hey guys, I have another video here. And this video is a couple clever uses for magnets. In this video, I got a couple neodymium magnets, four of them right here. If you want, you could go to your local um, hobby shop, uh, electronic store, um, even your local hardware sh store. You could get these neodymium rare earth magnets, really strong, really fun to use. And you could play a little trick on your friends, try to get them to pull it apart. You absolutely can't. You gotta sort of get in there and push it apart. Like side. It's even hard that way. But clearly you can do it. So, I got two magnets right here. You've seen it. You can totally magnetize your screwdriver. You could put it on the back, lift up most things. But if you want, I sort of magnetized it already, but it comes loose after a while. I showed you this in another video. Just click the magnet on, swipe it. That gets your tools magnetized. This is a big screw, but clearly you can do it. And I'm not putting a magnet on here. So, that's that. And in this video, I will also be showing you how to uh, make a hoopler motor, which is like a small motor. Um, it's a great fun project. And wait till the end, and I'll show you how to make that. Um, so, you got your screwdriver here. Put that aside. And then, if you have like a remote or something, and you got batteries there, you possibly cannot take them out. Here's how you do it. Grab a magnet, pull it on, take the batteries out. There you go, your batteries are out. Now, to create your hoopla motor, very simple and fun project. What you will need is a neodymium magnet. I'm using two in this, or four. Doesn't really matter how much. Um, little screw, and a bat, um, AA battery. So, to start off, oh, whoops, and you'll need, um, like, I don't know, a, a small wire. That's what you could do. You could use a small wire, copper, anything like that. It'll work fine. So, <laughs> so what you'll need to do, grab the back of your screwdriver, place a neodymium magnet on it, Make sure it's close to the center, close enough um, that it won't topple around when it's going. You can you can put a small dent in your on the front, but I just like to use, on the positive part of your AA battery. I just like to use the bottom. It doesn't really matter to me. Now you'll see that your magnet sticks to the. Um, positive and negative part on your battery. So, what you will need, I'm just taking this off, get your motor, like your small hoopler motor, um, and then contact with the positive and negative parts. Now you'll see it'll start spinning. What I hear is that if you hold it for 20 seconds, it will spin up to 10,000 uh, revolutions per minute. Wow, that is really fast. So, give it a shot. It's sort of a challenge because it's hard. Oh, there you saw sparks. Careful, because this is sort of like electronic. And then it go starts going really fast here. Oh, so fast it even fell down. So, challenge yourself to do that. I've around it, I don't know how long you can see in this video, but that's how you make a hoopler motor and what you could do with neodymium rare earth magnets. See you in the next video. Goodbye.